It certainly is an emotional day here at St. Michael Church. You can really feel it. They're just one of a dozen churches around the world participating in this live global day of prayer. The prayer sung here at St. Michael the Archangel Ukrainian Catholic Church are echoed around the world today. But definitely emotional because I don't think there's a parent, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a family that hasn't suffered through this. Most in this church are immigrants. They know firsthand or from relatives Ukraine's long and bloody fight for freedom. My parents came from Ukraine after the war, just like many others of that generation who didn't want to live under Russian rule. Now Ukrainian independence is threatened by Russia again. This is why nobody wants to see the sovereignty being lost, also the human dignity being taken away. We are afraid of persecution too. That's why the bishop at St. Michael feels so strongly about joining this day-long global prayer, united in their call for peace, hoping it will keep their community safe. We do feel solidarity. But at the same time, uh, still, it may not be enough. And now this worldwide prayer goes until 2 p.m. today, our time. If you aren't able to attend anywhere in person, it's all streamed online. We have that link on our app or NBC10.com. We're in Jenkintown. Karen Hua, NBC10 News.